What's up, JB Navy? It's your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is the top five do nots of the strip club, okay? All my videos are a matter of opinion and experience with my years of dancing. Nothing I say is facts. Nothing nobody say is gonna be facts because this environment is unique to your experiences and the things that you've been through. So everything that I say is personal experience and opinions, but a lot of my experiences other strippers can relate to. A lot of my opinions other strippers can relate to, but everybody's journey in this game is gonna be different, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the video. The number one do not of the strip club, don't stop another girl's money. Okay, don't hate on her. Don't go over there trying to stop the customer from tipping her because you know him or you don't want him tipping her. Don't try to talk bad about her. Don't try to slander her name. Let that girl work. Let your coworkers work. And a lot of times the customers are going to respect you way more if you just let them relax and let them enjoy themselves. Clearly if he's dancing a girl that you don't like or don't want him dancing, clearly that's who he wants to dance or he would not be dancing her. It kind of makes the customers uncomfortable when some girl they danced last week or some girl they probably had intercourse with thinks that they belong to them and every time they come into the club to dance other girls, you all in his face trying to stop him from dancing people. That pushes customers away. It pushes money away. It has you looking crazy. Let these men relax. I don't care if you're dealing with a dude from the club or whatever. If you met him in the club and you started dealing with him and he still comes to the club, let that man relax. Let that man continue to have his his uh, entertainment space and let him do his thing because what happens is y'all start messing with these guys that's from the club and then y'all start tripping when they start coming in there and then they don't want to come no more. So now you done messed up your money and everybody else's money. So if there's a guy that you're dealing with from the club and you don't want him dancing girls, you need to take that up with him. Don't stop that girl money, okay? That is the number one do not of the club. Do not stop another girl's money. Do not, number two, do not be greedy or take money or do things that you know you should not be doing. Example. When there's a lot of money being thrown in the air and you are dancing for a customer and there's another girl beside you and her customer is also throwing money in the air, there is imaginary line between the both of you. Every stripper knows this, but there's a lot of them that will try to test you and try to play with you. There's an imaginary line in between you two. I don't care if some of your dollars fall over there. I don't care if some of her dollars fall over here. Anything that fall over this line is mine. Anything that fall over that line is yours. Now, if you don't like it, you need to take your customer and move somewhere else. And only time that it's acceptable in some cases for each other to get some of each other's money is if it's a large amount of money that is going into each pile. Now, if the girls are mature enough, they can talk about splitting the money down the middle. If majority of a lot of my money going to your pile or a lot of your money coming to my pile, the mature thing to do is for us both to go ahead and put all the money together and split it down. But in other situations, if the guy is like tipping $200 and your guy is tipping $200 like, and it's not a lot of my money going to your pile, it's not a lot of your money going in my pile, just draw the imaginary line. Just keep scooting your money over with your foot and that's your pile. Do not ever go over to another girl pile and be like, oh, that's my dollar, it fell over there. No, that's tacky, it's not that serious. It's more where that came from. Do not number three of the strip club, okay? A lot of times in strip clubs, there are sections. These sections are reserved for RSVP people, VIP people, and things like that. People come in, they buy bottles, and they buy sections, okay? Let me tell you how these sections work. You go over to the section, when they're ready, they get their ones or whatever the case may be, you ask them, can you dance, right? Nine times out of 10, the people that is going to be over there, when that money start flying, are the people that they chose. Soon as the money hit the floor, any girls that's over there are the girls that's going to be over there. There's no new girls that can come in and no girls can leave out. Who is there is who is there. Because what happens is, if I start dancing for a section and, uh, and money starts hitting the floor, let's say it's $200 on the floor already, and they get new girls and then they spend another $1,000 how we gonna work this out? It's, it becomes a bunch of confusing. So do I get $200 more because I already had $200 on the floor? No, we're not gonna go through this in the strip club. So when money hits the floor, whatever the girls, whoever the girls were that was in that section, when that money hit the floor, that is who that money belongs to. It's very complicated when money is already on the floor and new girls try to come in. It causes chaos. So to end chaos, when the money hit the floor, 
the girls that's over there, that's who it belongs to. No new girls going in, no new girls going out. So don't try to play yourself and go over to a section where there's money on the floor and then try to argue with the girls at the end of the night. If I see money on the floor in a section, I don't even bother. Only time I do is if I see a guy off to the side that got his own money or if you're getting paid in your hand. If you're getting paid in your hand to dance, then you're good. But when if you're counting on some of that rain money and you went over there when the money already hit the floor, nah, sis, you just played yourself. So don't do that. Do not, number five, do not talk about coworkers to customers. It's tacky, it's corny, and it puts the customer in an awkward position. Um, yeah, you may be stopping this girl coins, or you might be really expanding their curiosity about them. A lot of times y'all talk bad about people and really you just make this person wonder what this person is about. So you could be helping the situation or you could be making the situation worse. Either way, it's corny. Don't talk about your coworkers to customers. It's unnecessary. It's not really healthy for you because you might be stopping your own coins. The customer may be engaging in a conversation with you, but they probably don't want to be bothered with you because you're messy and you're doing things that's like making them uncomfortable and honestly they don't care they are there to see booties and titties they do not care about none of the drama that we have going on in there okay so just do your job dance for the man entertain and anything that you got going on with them girls in there that ain't got nothing to do with the customers leave the customers out of it you got a problem with somebody you take it up with management or you take it up with that girl but to talk about your coworkers to customers, it's tacky, it's corny, and customers don't care about it. They don't wanna hear it. Don't do it. Do not talk to a customer while a girl is with that customer. Unless you and that girl is cool, unless you and that girl are friends, or unless that girl is just really, really nice, I'm gonna tell you personally as a dancer, it really irritates me when somebody runs up to a customer while I am in conversation or in the middle of entertaining, and it's brother, oh, uh, uh, oh, hey, uh. Wait till I'm done, and a lot of strippers really get irritated about that. Wait till I'm done, especially if me and you don't have no relationship, I don't know you, you don't know me, we don't talk, whatever the case may be, it's disrespectful to each other because I'm working and you're taking the attention off of me and I'm getting my money. And girls love to come up while you're getting money. They like to make themselves known and notice that they're there. So, you know, I think the appropriate thing to do is if you know somebody in the strip club and you you know somebody is dancing for them, as one of your coworkers is dancing for them at the time, I think the appropriate thing to do is to wait. But like I said, if you have a relationship with the girl, if it doesn't feel awkward for you not to go ahead and speak, go ahead and speak. I mean, it's not a big deal to everybody, but I'm saying in most cases, it can't irritate the entertainer that you're interrupting her entertainment. So. Those are my top five do nots of the strip club. I wanna say I love you guys. Shout out to the JB Navy gang, 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 gang. Don't look at my nails, I broke a nail this weekend. Girl, working, okay? So, and then I've been getting SNS. I don't know if y'all know about SNS, but I've been getting SNS. It has grew my nails out so far, but let me tell you something. When one break, it breaks off your whole entire nail, not just the SNS, it breaks off your whole nail. So yeah, I'm in a little bit of pain right now. But anyway, shout out to the JB Navy. Now, the JB Navy symbol is the gang, 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 I'm just playing. I don't really know what this symbol is, but I call it gang, gang, gang. The gang, gang, gang symbol and the little Navy, uh, what is that called? What is that thing, anchor, the Navy anchor. So anytime that y'all comment, make sure y'all put that gang, gang, gang sign and that navy anchor symbol and that is the symbol for the jb navy we are 44 thousand troops strong um i'm just i just love you guys and i'm going to keep the content coming we're going to keep doing it and this summer is going to be a banging summer i got so many things in store for you guys do not forget to subscribe to the jb navy and also stay tuned because there's another video that should be popping up about right here until next time i'm out